Hi, this is Justin Matters with my weekly report back from uh, life in Westminster. And it's fair to say this week has been the most difficult of my time in Parliament. I felt I'd been placed in an invidious position in relation to the welfare uh, reform bill, where uh, an amendment was uh, put forward by the Labour Party rejecting the bill, but then we were asked to abstain on uh, the main content of the bill. Uh, that's what I decided to do, primarily because I didn't want um, these stories all week to be about splits in the Labour Party, which is exactly what has happened. And I hope that once we get our leader in place in the autumn, that uh, we'll be able to actually be united in opposition to this bill. And we can actually spend some time talking about the many damaging aspects of it rather than arguing amongst ourselves. It really is time that we got a grip and started uh, working together as a proper party again. Uh, I also attended this week in Parliament my first meeting of the Petitions Committee. It's one of the new select committees that's been set up in Parliament and its job is to hear uh, and deal with uh, petitions put on the uh, government website. Once 100,000 signatures are reached, um, it's then up to the committee to decide what to do with it. They'll either pass it to another select committee, deal with it themselves or... Um, try and get a debate in Parliament. And it looks like the first um, threshold has been passed for a petition uh, calling for Jeremy Hunt to resign. Um, so that's going to be interesting, particularly as there's a Conservative majority on the committee. Um, but I think it's actually a really good way of uh, opening up Parliament and getting debates heard, which might not otherwise take place. And after that, um, we split up uh, from Parliament for the summer. That doesn't mean I'm going on my holidays. Uh, although I will be taking some time off, uh, but I was back uh, back in the constituency on Wednesday and up at Elton uh, doing a, a surgery with the parish council there. And um, I also returned to Elton on Friday to visit uh, NSERC, or as it's better known as Quinn Glass, uh, which employ a lot of local people. It was actually a world leader in uh, their fields of uh, glass recycling and uh, filling of bottles. And uh, pleased to say I also met the trade union there who um, look like they're having a much better working relationship with uh, NSERC than, than has previously been the case. We also attended a street surgery in Little Neston with Councillor Louise Gittins and a street surgery in Grange with Councillor Tony Sherlock. So um, whilst I'm back this summer, I do hope to get round as many places as possible. And as always, if there's anything you want to ask me, please do get in touch. Thank you.